Hello everybody, and welcome to Pikmin! I don't know if there's a save on this memory card. Um, I've... Okay, there, there is. I can guarantee you neither of these are mine. I have played Pikmin 2. And I've played Pikmin 3. But I've never played Pikmin. The first Pikmin. So that's what we're doing today. Well, until I beat it, basically. Ooh, sparkly. Hey, it's the dolphin! My antenna is poking through the top of that. This is meteorite. Boop. <laughs> I mean, I already know basically the plot of this game. And I'm going to attempt to do a 100% playthrough. Whether I succeed or not will be a different matter. Um, I know there's... I don't even know how many parts there are. But I think I can, like... I think, like, the fastest I've even heard just people I know complete the game is, like, 15 days. So this might be a pretty quick uh, series. Oh, that's... My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out when I woke on the planet's... And I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then... No, better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Okay. Um, I apologize you can hear the clickiness of my controller. It's kind of a... How to explain? It's a third-party controller. Okay. Um, well, I suppose let's head this way. Oh. Camera's, like, really close. Yeah, like, that- that's a good camera. Angle- ooh. It's Red Pikmin. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me, and then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable my home planet we call an onion. I shall call this an onion, too. Hey! It sprouted! The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth, without the benefit of wind. I can't help but think it's calling to me and I'm compelled. I must approach it and press A! And so I shall. Oh, they're adorable. They're always adorable. Pikmin are just adorable. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout from... I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage, and it stands just there staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pikpik brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shouldn't call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I am intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try and grab it and throw it with A, and then I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to C, the C stick and X as well. The following controls appear to allow me so, uh, have several viewpoints. Okay, so R zooms in, L rotates, okay, and Z changes the angle. So, oh yeah, that's much better. Good throw, Pikmin! Yeah! Collect that, little buddy. 
Yeah! There it goes. And now there's two more seeds. Because yes, that is how Pikmin breed. Astonishing, the onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can, that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. Throw uh, I kind of get it, little guy. I think I have my headphones on backwards. <laughs> that sound was not on the right side of me. Oh, there we go. And yeah, they will uh, do that if you use the C stick. Come on, little buddy. Um, let's see. Ooh, there's a five pellet over there. Uh, I'm, g I'm gonna wait and pick these little guys. Pluck. Pluck. Ooh, I think I see something over there. Let's get a couple Pikmin on that. So notice, if we put multiple Pikmin to a task, they move faster. Which is just a nice thing. Now, oop, there's another pellet up there. Let's go grab that one, too. Um... Ooh, I'm not sure I can throw up this ledge, but I can run up it. Get it, guys! Ah. <laughs> well, let's whistle these two back. Pluck these ones. And whoop. Now let's just get all the all five of these guys onto this. They'll start carrying the five back. So again, I apologize for the clickiness of the controller. As I mentioned, it is third party, so it's not official. Even though the official ones are pretty clicky too. I actually like how clicky they were. Like, the GameCube controller is, like, a great controller. Because that clickiness was because of its pressure sensitivity. And that seed has given us a ton of Pikmin. We're now up to 14 in total. To explain the numbers at the bottom, that is number with us. That is number just on the field. And that last number there is number in total. Whoops. Just pick all the Pikmin by just mashing A. Now we have 14, which I believe we need to then tell to push, and they push. And those four just kind of stand there staring at me like, what do you want with us? We just, we just stand. It's what we do. And they, they push the box oh so gingerly into place. And then go, ha. Ah. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups and perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of the Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick up sprout or to pick sprouts. I say grab Pikmin, throw them, X to dismiss. Uh, yeah. I should record all this in my computer. I can press Y to access the computer. Cool. And this appears to be a piston y thing. I guess this is the engine. Amazing! There's no mistaking it! My ship's engine rests before my very eyes, a stroke of pure luck. I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? Well, we do have some slave labor. Unfortunately, it takes 20 and we've only got 14. But there are more uh, pellets up here, so let us... Get all of them working on this stuff. And we can throw Pikmin up ledges like this. And... Um, I don't think we can do anything with this yet. 
I mean, he can try, but he gives up. Because, well, he realizes that's made of stone, and his head is no match for that. Um, you know, let's... Um, can I... Come here, little guy. Can I carry you? I can. Let's carry him with us. Just throw him over there. Look at all these Pikmin! Ah. We'll have 25 in total. I think that is as many as we can get on this first day. I think. When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them off from the ground individually. My wife always told me I'm no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try and get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with a bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me at distinguishing between Pikmin. Fair enough. Pikmin in my group are colored. Ones outside of the group are not colored. And we now have 25 Pikmin. And, well, this took 20. So let us swarm them onto it. it... One of them has given up. Oop. Oop. Can you do it, buddy? You did it, I think. Yes, he's still pale, though. <laughs> We just have the pale Pikmin! And they are now carrying it over this way instead of to their onion. It's like they understand where it needs to go. And now they just kind of carry it. As it's being all pistony. Yeah, I definitely have my headphones on backwards. While they're carrying this, I'm gonna put my headphones around. Because it's always nice to be able to actually hear things in the right directions. There we go. Now I have them on the right way around. There is no left and right on these headphones. It's kind of annoying. Hey, the ship's kind of rebuilding itself. A bit. That's always handy. Oh, glorious! With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. And now we're at the end of the day! Or th there was one really big Pikmin in the front of that. Where all the Pikmin will now return to their onion. And we will return to our ship. And then... We take off. And curiously, so do they. Day one, since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface? Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family. On planet, Ho um, my family on planet Hokate. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below, as it holds the keys to my survival. I shall name it the Forest of Hope. I ex I explore it tomorrow. And here we have the end of day screen, where we get to see today's changes in Pikmin population, the number of ones that we have sprouted, the ones lost in battle, and the ones left behind. It is possible to leave Pikmin behind. We can also see the number of parts we have uh, gathered, and the number of parts we have remaining, and the number of days we have remaining. So with that, I thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you back tomorrow for day two. Well, maybe not tomorrow. I've yet to fully decide how I'm uploading these. Next time for day two. 
See you all then.